Okay, well, good morning, everybody. Let's put you guys on the spot. Who did their 10 minute walk this morning? We got Stan here in Southern California. We're going on a 10 minute walk. He says I'm too slow. We picked it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we right? did a little we bit. We picked it up a little bit. The CPAP is life changing, the thermos is life changing. Salt is probably one of the top things I get feedback from from people. Stan, what is the importance of the 10 minute walk? Boy, so many things. I, the big things are improving digestion and uh, improving insulin sensitivity. Those are the big things. And then just the activity level, getting your blood flow circulating. I usually walk significantly faster with a bit of an arm swing, get my heart rate elevated just a little bit. When I dose with sodium before a workout, I've never taken pre-workouts. I don't, I don't take caffeine and stuff like that. I don't want to be all jittery and jacked up and, and hit my adrenals like that. Cows, sheep, bison, and deer are all ruminant animals. These are the ones I prefer uh, to feed my athletes. They're three times higher in iron. They're six times higher in zinc. They're nine times higher in, um, in B12 than a chicken or a turkey. Do you think it's worth it playing around with recovery days versus training days, messing with macros and just total calories? Not so much because you could say on a recovery day, you, you need those calories to rebuild. And so I don't think it's that big a deal. I drink cranberry juice every day, maybe just three ounces in the morning. Another thing with respect to, uh, to red meat and omega-6 to omega-3 ratios is that's not where you go looking for omegas. If you train in a fasted window, your training is not as, uh, as good. You're not as strong, uh, you might lift a little uh, fewer reps, less weight. So training fasted is not the best idea in terms of performance. You should train fed.